Hey everybody, it's your boy Susty, and what we're going to do next here is a review of Sisu, the new movie that is coming out, and it's going to be airing on April 28th. So if you're a fan of the John Wick series, and the latest one of course, you're going to like this movie a lot. It's uh, based during World War II, um, it's a solitary uh, prospector crosses paths with a Nazi and a scorched earth retreat in northern Finland. Uh, when the soldiers decide to steal his gold, which he found, and it was his, they quickly discover they just tangled with no ordinary miner. Uh, so the release date's going to be uh, April 28th on that, and it's a Finnish type of film. Now, uh, it's intense, it's wild, and yes, it is dangerous. Uh, IMB, IMBD is giving it a 7.5 out of 10, and Rotten Tomatoes is giving it 96%. So let's get right into it. So, straight from Wikipedia on this one, uh, Sisu is a 2022 historical action film. It's written and directed by Jalmara Hollander, set in Finland, Lapland, during World War II. The film allows a gold uh, prospector who attempts to secure his gold from a Nazi death squad led by a brutal officer. The film stars Jorma Tomala, Eskel Henny, Jack Doolin, and Mimosa Willemo. Again, I'm not finished, but that was my best attempt. Um, it was again directed by Jamalar Hellander, written by Jamalar Hellander, produced by Petra Jorkanta. Alright, and let's see here. The release date, as we did say, is going to be April 28th worldwide. Running time on that is going to be 91 minutes. And so it has a $6 million budget. The film was shot in 2021 in Lapland with, like I said, a budget of uh, $6 million. Uh, let's see. Going on with the premise here, uh, just a quick review. In 1944, during the Lapland War, the gold prospector from the Winter War, uh, the Tamari Kopra, lives alone in the remote wilderness of Lapland, panning and mining for a search of gold. Eventually, his efforts succeed when he uncovers a rich gold deposit. Uh, so he collected a hefty amount of the gold, and uh, Atami sets off to deliver his gold to the nearest town. Along the way, he encounters a 30-man Wehrmacht platoon led by ruthless SF Obermeyer Bruno Heldorf and his subordinate Wolf, who are destroying settlements in their retreats and have taken dozens of captives. Through Bruno and the platoon initially take little interest in Atami, they change their mind upon learning of his gold and attempt to seize it from him. But unknowns to them, Atami was a skilled fighter during the Winter War, nicknamed Kashel, meaning the immortal. And their attempts to capture Atami and steal his gold result in brutal clashes, which we're going to see clips of shortly here. So, once again, let's get into it. I think you're really going to like this. Okay, so going over the movie here shortly with some of these clips. Again, I just want to let you know that uh, you, you kind of kind of think Inglorious Bastards uh, with John Wick. You'll get the gist of it. If you like both of these, you're definitely going to like this. So here we go. Hey. Oh, some unlucky soul. Gotta get crushed. Forward. Down. Man, you just want to go, jeez. You just want to catch me. This is where it all starts. Fuck him up! <laughs> you 
you've got something all right. Ouchies. Ah, that'll do it every time. He was a Finnish commander. He lost his home and his family in the war. He became a one-man death squad. Oh, He's one mean motherfucker that you do not want to mess with. when you take everything from him. Oh, come on. Does he really believe that he's immortal? No, he just refuses to die. Way to How many mines did you bury here? All of them. You? And you? Oh, for the wind. Yes. About who's the strongest. This is about not giving up. We have a word for that in Finland. There it is. My boy Sissu. We might have a problem. Check it out. I think it'll be great. I think it's something you're gonna enjoy. Great film if you're liking John Wick. Uh check it out. Enjoy. We'll talk to you soon.